For this limit, we're looking at the end behavior of a function that involves a natural logarithm. So we're looking at x, or the limit is x goes to infinity, so the end behavior to the right, of a natural log of 3x minus natural log of 2x. Well, the function, let's remember what the function y equals natural log of x looks like first. It's got a vertical asymptote um, at the y-axis. Um, we only have the function to the right of the y-axis there because we can only plug in positive values for x. Uh, it crosses the x-axis at 1. Okay? So this is what the graph of y equals natural log of x looks like. So when we are looking at uh, in behavior to the right, so as x goes to infinity, we're looking as we go off to the right, where does the function go? So we're looking at this arrow up here, and notice that that arrow is increasing without bound, so it is in fact going to infinity. So uh, looking, at, uh, looking back at the function we're trying to take the limit of, we have these extra constants multiplied by the x. We've got a 3x and a 2x inside the logarithm. But realize that uh, since we're looking at end behavior, if x is going to infinity, so is 3x, so is 2x. So we really are just looking at natural log of infinity minus natural log of infinity. And this is doing arithmetic with infinity, but under the understanding that we're looking at limits here. So as x goes off to infinity, so as the input goes off to infinity, the natural log of that would go off to infinity as well. So we are looking at an infinity minus infinity situation, which is an indeterminate form. Okay. So since it's an indeterminate form, we need to be able to do some sort of algebra if possible or have some other technique that allows us to handle this. And the algebra that uh, we are going to need to use here for the logarithm is a logarithm rule. And so we've got a difference of logarithms, but the logarithm rule can take a difference of logarithms and just have it be the logarithm of a ratio. So it would be natural log of 3x divided by 2x. Um, just using log rules. So the really uh, nice thing here is that since we have taken a difference and put it into a quotient, um, we can now do the cancellation there with the x's. And so what we're looking at then is the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of 3 halves. Well, the natural log of 3 halves is simply a number. Um, and so when we're looking here at computing this limit, as x goes off to infinity of a constant, it's just going to be the value of the constant. And so that limit then is the number natural log of 3 halves. Even though that doesn't look like a super pretty number, that is the answer, that is the value. You've completely evaluated the limit at this point.